Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Video Leap. In this Enlight Video Leap tutorial, we're going to talk about advanced masks. Yeah, I suppose this is a little bit new for some of you seeing me actually on camera. The reason that I don't normally put myself on camera is because I just think it's a bit of a distraction. You're here to um, look at in light tutorials, generally not to look at me. But yeah, a few people have asked me about what I look like. There you go. And, um, and also um, have asked me about like desktop setups and stuff like that. I will get around to it at some point. Um, I have a 43 inch Samsung ultra wide screen that I use my I you I have an iMac but I generally use my MacBook Pro 2018 fully loaded I have a 2020 iPad Pro 12.9 with the um, magic keyboard yeah um, I've get guitar there, there. <laughs> and a guitar that side as well look um, I'm a photographer, videographer, professional one. Um, some cameras here, um, Canon 5D Mark III, Canon 5D Mark IV, lenses on that side actually, um, with an EOS camera as well, that side as well. So yeah, um, like I said, I will do that setup at some point and I will take myself off screen now so we can get on with the tutorial and I'm not a distraction for you. So let's get on and do Basically, that. Basically all we want to do is we want to have our text coming from behind something. I was originally going to do it from behind a line, but I thought I'd do something different and do it from behind like a sticker. So I've, um, I've opted to go for these three lines and all I'm going to do is with this, I wonder if I can actually, yeah, I can extend it, which is good. Um, I'm going to move it sort of down here and then with the arrows on this right hand side, all I'm going to do is drag that out so it's a little bit longer um, because it is, it is indeed sort of a video clip if you see, if you look and then I'm going to pinch and squeeze my fingers, turn it around a little bit um, and just adjust it to where I want it to be. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cl click the little text button and then I think I think we had the words colourful. Double tap to um, to edit. Um, so we just have the word colour. If you're in America, obviously I understand colour would be spelled a different way. We just spell it, spell it like this in the UK. And then I'm going to pinch and squeeze to the size that I want it to be. And then I'm going to put it at the the exact finish point of also where I want it to be. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna click the little tick button to say that I'm happy with my text or what I've wrote down. You can go back in and edit it simply just by double tapping it again. Um, and then maybe with the text, we could have a outline on it. So go stroke here and go color and I don't even know yet. I'm just going to keep it really black and white in, in this respect. Um, and then just, um, just widen the outline um, with a slider there. Um, just make the outline a little bit wider. And that is, that's simple. And then what I'm going to do is adjust the duration of my text to just a little bit shorter than the what I've made the lines, okay? So when I play through the timeline, it currently looks like this. Now I want that text to move from right to left on the screen as you're looking at it, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Don't do the keyframes of the text first, okay? So you can still see that I've got the text selected by the white outline um, in, the, um, in the timeline here. And if you look at the screen, I've got the pink outline around the text to say that that's still um, selected. And then what I want to do with those selected is click mask. Now let me quickly explain, um, we're going to talk about this linear mask on the bottom. Let me quickly explain what's going on here. If you look at the image of the linear mask, as you can with all of the other little icons, um, where the black part of the image or the black part of the little icon is and not the shaded part, that's where your mask is going to be applied to on the screen. So if you look at the screen, you see the mask um, or you can't see the text below the line um, because that's where the mask is and there's not a mask above the line. So you can clearly see where the mask is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch and squeeze my finger and rotate this mask, not this way, 
but this way. So the visible side is on my left of the screen as I look at it. Now you're probably wondering why you can still see the lines behind it. And that's because I've applied the mask to the text only. Remember we had the text selected. So if I was to move the text, text now, by the way, what you have to do is deselect the text and then select the text again to, um, to not select the mask, okay? So, and then I go with my text here, look, it hides that te text under the mask. And then I'm gonna keyframe the text, right? So here is the start point of our text, little plus button on the diamond to keyframe there. And then I want our text to move out over that two second duration. So it takes two seconds to move from the right hand side of the screen to the left hand side of the screen. And now this is what it looks like. Deselect that. And it looks like this, this text is actually coming out of, um, out of this line. Simple, right? And if you wanted to do um, to do another word, okay. Let me look at look for another word. Now, the only difficulty here is that you're now going to have two words or two pieces of text in the same place. So, um, let me show you how we work around this. Click the little text button to um, apply some more text. Double tap, and then I'm going to drag out. Remember, little. Um, check button to say yes I'm happy with the text so do this one a little bit quicker I'm going to drag out the duration of the text so it snaps in place for the same duration as my other text so you can see the colorful thing is still going on there what else do we need to do we maybe want to change the um, make the text a little bit bigger pinch and squeeze so it's the same size as the word color and then what I'm going to do I'm going to change it around the color so for the color here I'm going to have it as black and then go back and for the um, for the stroke I'm going to have that as two point wasn't it one two and the color we're going to have as white so it's opposite colors okay so now all we need to do is add the mask and keyframe it now let's go for the mask linear mask Remember the mask part is on the in the black area of the little icon, and then the shaded area is the bit that we can see. So this time we need to turn the mask around the other way. It won't affect anything else on the screen because we just applied it to the text. Make it line up with the line there, and then that's okay. Deselect, select again. So now if we move our color full or the word full over this way, to there, it's disappeared behind our mask. Click the little plus button to keyframe. Wait for the, it doesn't even need to look at the time, I want it to come out exactly the same time as the word color does. So now all I do is drag it over to the right hand side, line it up with where I want it to be, like so, um, deselect. Okay, so now when we play this through, we click the little play button, Yeah, so that was a bit more of an advanced tutorial, but if you have any questions or any problems, please give me a shout. Hope this has helped you out. Catch you all very soon. Um, take care, everyone. Bye.